Hey guys, welcome back. It is August, so it is time for a new Jules Manny Challenge. This month is sponsored by Pampered Pretties, if you have not guessed by the products I'm using. Um, if you have never tried her products before, I will leave a link down below to her website, as well as I will leave the names of the three dips I'm using for you guys as well. They matched the palette perfectly in my opinion which you guys will see the palette here in just a minute um, but I wanted to go with a simple kind of last summer themed palette for this month I know a lot of people including myself are going on vacation so here's the palette just a simple kind of beachy themed palette but it's very open for whatever kind of nail art you wanted to do which is why I didn't do any kind of palette with like starfish or mermaids or anything like that I just wanted to do a simple but bright and vibrant beach theme that way you can add whatever kind of nail art you want to it so there's no actual design already set in place that is all open for you guys to do yourself which I'm super excited about I love kind of doing these open kind of palettes where it just gives you guys a base and then you guys get creative and do whatever it is you want to do with it so that is the picture um, I will post it in my Facebook group as well as over on my Instagram like I always do so be sure to go and check that out. That way you can either screenshot or save the picture of the, um, the palette so that you guys have it for when you go to do your manis for this month's challenge. I did just want to say that lately, whenever I've been doing any kind of nail art, I'm going to do decals over this one for this mani. Um, but whenever I've been doing white nails with decals or stamping or my acrylic paint pens, I've just been doing the two dips in the white and then activating. I found that this white from Pamper Pretties, which is called French Kiss, it really requires very little filing and buffing. I actually didn't even file. I just activated. I did file around um, my sidewalls and my cuticle area just to kind of clean up my cuticle line. But other than that, I just buffed my nail until it was smooth and then I was able to apply my decals. Um, I am going to show you after I've applied my decal and dipped in clear, I'm going to show you guys that it is not super thick. I know a lot of people always ask me whenever I do because y'all know I can't use gel. So I get asked a lot when I do like my dip powder color and then a decal or any kind of nail art and then I do a dip of clear on top. I always get asked if it makes my nails super thick and it does not. So I am gonna show you guys that in this video just so you guys can see they're not super thick. So rules for the Manny Challenge are the same as they always are. Just use at least two colors from the palette. Make sure you use the hashtag Jules Manny Challenge when you post on Instagram or in my Facebook group. The judges really only look in my Facebook group and on Instagram. It's impossible for us to go into every single nail group and try to find the Manny Challenge pictures. So just be sure you're at least posting your manis on Instagram with the hashtag. Um, as far as designs go, totally optional. You don't have to do one if you're not comfortable doing any kind of nail art or anything like that. You can just use some of the colors from the palette. But there are some bonus points if you do do a beachy themed design. Um, it doesn't have to do do it doesn't have to be a decal you can do a stamp you can do freehand nail art and you can use any dip powder brand that you want or even just use gel if you are not a dip powder user use whatever you want it doesn't I get asked all the time if it has to be the same brand if it has to be dip if the nail art has to be the same it can be whatever whatever makes you happy 
And as always, I will leave the Manny Challenge, all the deets that you need to know in the description box as well. So if you want to, you can just go into the description and read all of those, um, especially if you need to come back to it later on when you go to do your Manny. Everything you need to know will be in the description box. So I'm just going to do this one coral now. My last two nails, my pinky and my thumb. I'm going to do this gorgeous, gorgeous shimmery blue. I am obsessed with this blue tip. It is just so gorgeous. So I'm going to let you guys watch for a bit and I will be back.
All right, so I'm finishing up my blue nails. I did cap and clear off camera just because I did not pick up one of Pampered Pretty's clears. I just have so much other clear. I'm just trying to use up some of that before I go and purchase any more. Um, but I do definitely plan on getting her clear and trying it out. I'm always a fan of trying different brands of clear because to me, they're not all created equally. Some of them are grittier than others and leave, you know, those dots on your nails. Um, but if you are interested, I am using Young Nails Core Clear. I got it during, I think it was like their Black Friday sale and I still have a ton of it. So I'm trying to use use that up, but it is really, really great. But I am excited to try the Pampered Pretty ones and just see how good that one is because I have heard good things about it. So I'm going to get my blue nails finished up. I'm going to get them capped and clear, activated, and then I will be ready to show you guys the decals that I'm getting ready to use. All right, so these are the decals I'm using from Pashi. I will leave them linked down below for you guys, um, as well as my discount code for Pashi if you want to grab any decals. I'm going to actually just use the beachy ones in the back in the little extras set that you get with every set of water slide decals. So I'm just going to get these cut out really, really quickly. I just wanted to show you guys how I cut my decals. I learned this little trick from Shayna from Shay Does Dip Nails. She does a bunch of Pashi nail design manis and her tips for cutting the decals to make them apply so much easier and with less wrinkles has really been a game changer for me. So once I have them all cut out, I am just going to pick one up really quick with my tweezers and I'm just going to make a bunch of little slits all the way around. This is just a simple little trick I learned from her, but it really does make a world of difference when it comes to applying these decals. So I'm just going to get these all cut really quick and primed and ready and then I... I'm going to show you how I apply these. I am only going to show just doing one nail just because you guys have seen me do decals before and I'm sure you've watched a bunch of other people apply decals. And if you're interested in the little cup that I'm using to hold my water in for my decal, I will leave that in the description box for you guys as well. So for my decals, I've been using Young Nails Foil Transfer Base. It is a air dry, it is not a gel. Nothing I'm using is gel. You don't need a UV lamp for any of these products. Um, but this is great for if you're doing transfer foils, but I have found that it works perfect for water slide decals. Once you put the decal on, my only, my only tip is Definitely use a stamper because the foil transfer base, <laughs> once the decal is on there, you're not going to be able to move it. So just make sure that you have it placed perfectly where you want it before you actually lay it onto your nail if you're using the foil transfer base. So I use a stamper. It just makes decals so much easier to do. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit out of frame, but you just apply it where you want. And then I go in with my Poshy Nails um, cleanup brush and some acetone and just clean up and get all of the extra decal off. So I'm just gonna get this cleaned up and I'm gonna apply my smudge free top coat and then do a dip in clear. So I will let you guys watch for a minute and I will be right back.
All right, so I let my smudge-free top coat fully dry and now I'm just doing a quick dip in my clear. And I just wanted to pop in real quick just so I could point out that it does not make my nail any thicker. This is how thick my nails usually are after I dip them. So if you maybe have a gel allergy, but you've been worried about doing dip powder over your designs because you think it's gonna make your nails too thick, as long as you do a nice thin layer, your nails really should not be any thicker than they normally would. So hopefully that is helpful because I get asked a lot if it makes my nails super thick. And for me personally, it does not. I just try to do really thin layers of everything. And another good trick I find is to press the clear down onto the decal. And that also helps with not having anything bulky around your cuticle areas. So I'm just going to brush off the excess clear. I'm gonna get this activated. I'm gonna file and buff off camera and top coat and I will be back to show you guys the finished Manny. All right, so I've got all my buffing and filing done. I went ahead and just activated and then wiped my nails off off camera just to take a little bit of time off this video. And I wanted to try this top coat that I got in my last Sparkle & Co. sub bag. It is the glossy top coat number four, I believe it is. Um, overall, it performed really well, it dried really quickly. It was super nice and glossy. Um, just two little things I will say. One, I'm used to my Triple D top coat and Dipomania's top coat where the liquid is a bit thinner consistency wise. So this one is definitely a bit thicker than what I'm used to. Um, the odor on this one was also much more noticeable for me. It did it burned my eyes. <laughs> so I did just want to point that out because I do always like to be 100% honest with you guys whenever I'm trying something new. I did like it. I would use it again, but probably not in my nail room because my nail room, I have a really small nail room. So if I were to do my nails out in my living room or something, I'd probably be fine and it probably wouldn't bother my eyes quite as much as it did. So that is just my little notes for you guys with that. So I'm just going to get my second layer of top coat on. But I hope you guys are excited for this month's challenge. I hope that all of you participate. I'm super, super excited. I'm also a little sad. I feel like summer has just flown by. I'm sad that this is the last summer themed palette. But I am excited to get into some fall manis. I just, I love the warm weather. I don't want it to end. <laughs> but hopefully you guys are excited about this palette too. And you have all month to do your manis until the end of August. So 
make sure you use the hashtag when you are posting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this top coat dry and I will be right back. I do have something I'm pretty excited to share with you in just a second. All right, so my top coat is dry, and as you can see, the shine is gorgeous. Super, super shiny. So here is what I'm so excited to share with you guys. This is Lemon Squeezy. So if you did not know Dodie from Triple D, she now has cuticle oils, and she let all of her ambassadors, um, she let us all create our own oil scent. So. I'm obsessed with lemon and this one smells like a freshly baked lemon bar. It is so good. So I will leave it linked down below as well if you are wanting to try a new cuticle oil. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.